beyond the obvious issues with having a, a child that doesn't sleep well, you know, there's a lot of strain on, on us individually, on our job performance, on our health, on our marriage. I know yeah. that like when he doesn't go to good sleep, he's so grumpy when he yeah. wakes up. And if he's grumpy, then we're grumpy. <laughs> yeah. It's a memory faded Now the days feel shorter as our sons and daughters do it on again. I don't yeah, even remember what great. it feels like to be well rested. Well, Leo was not a good sleeper from the beginning. You know, what we were doing is the second we heard him cry, we were running into the room with a bottle or, you right. know, to hold him, take him out of the crib, rock him. <laughs> we're back to square one again, where now the bottle's not even working. It's pretty much the only thing, yeah. the only thing we fight about is, yeah. is sleep. And there's negotiations. Ugh. There's and all Steve kinds always of things. wins. Normally, what I'm happens out. is Steve just sleeps through all I of it. Sleep through okay. That. I usually say, Steve, is there any way? No, no, Steve. <laughs> or he'll just completely ignore me. Steve, Steve, I won't he's screaming. Even hear can you her, just once? Can you please just go get him? I'll just I'm five not, minutes. Like, I just need five it. minutes. I am a wreck by the end of the day. I'm so tired, I can right. barely keep my eyes open, so I don't make nice dinners. Right. It infringes upon our time as a couple, because that's, once he goes to bed, that's supposed to be our time. And I have no patience for like any physical contact because I've been right. hung upon all day. It's hard because I, I also appreciate that Steve is so much more than most guys, and then I feel guilty because I feel like, well, why can't I hold it together? All these insecurities come in. He's at the door. Are you here to rescue us from our sleep nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Susie. I'm Jill. Be back. Hi, Hi. Steve. Hi, Mrs. Mrs. Leo. Leo. Hi, Mr. Leo. How are you? So one idea that I had, because everything else has failed, and we've tried all the things we've read online, is maybe we should actually talk to a sleep expert, totally. you know, face to face, and get some personalized attention. Like I think it might be worth it, just because. This is such a big problem for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So. I'm glad I'm getting a chance to see this right now because there's a couple of things that really help um, children sleep well in general, any child. One of which is to keep the stimulation and sort of Disneyland out of their crib. <laughs> see, you like that, don't you? And we don't want to throw this toy out. It's a fabulous toy. Probably better to take it out of the crib so he doesn't wake up in the middle of the night in a light phase of sleep and go, ooh, let me right. see if I can press the button. Yeah, she so, does do. yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> you hear music in your room all of a sudden. <laughs> so while we're working on sleep, just go get some lawn and leaf trash bag type things and tape them all over the windows and then apologize to your neighbors and right. promise them that they'll be off soon. And just really let's lock out the light on both windows in here so that won't wake him in the, in the early morning. Sleep is a learned skill, okay? And so as they're learning a new skill, like riding a bike or tying their shoelaces for the first time, there's a little bit of frustration. But how much frustration's in that process has to do with how we create our program and how consistent you stay. We wanna keep his bedtime routine exactly the same as it is give him his bottle when he's put in his crib. He's gonna use the bottle still to go to sleep without your help. If he wakes up in the middle of the night, I'm gonna have you checking in on him without touching for under 30 seconds at five and 10 and every 15 minutes until he goes to sleep, okay? Being in there for less than 30 seconds. Under 30 second check-ins. And in under 30 seconds, I say, Leo, mommy and daddy are right here, sweetie. We love you. Go night night. We'll be back in a few minutes. And you're out of there, okay? So you're present, right. you're calm, you're not weepy, even though you can go cry outside. That's perfectly fine. I did it myself. So you're gonna be present, you're gonna be loving, you're gonna be available. You're just not going to do for him what he needs to learn how to do on his own, which is to put himself back to sleep, right. okay? And hang in there because you're your consistency is everything to making this work, right. okay? Sounds Great. fabulous, awesome. thank you so much. You're welcome, you. you're welcome. I was a little skeptical going into it. I didn't think she could really teach us anything that we hadn't already tried, and I think uh, we actually have a good little roadmap to follow now. To see my baby crying without me being able to go, you know, put a hand on him is, is gonna be really difficult, but um, I, I think it's at least worth giving it a try. All right. 
get this blackout thing going. Seeing the sleep expert was really good and we've actually implemented a few of her suggestions. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Leo. And they seem to be working a little bit. We still have a few things we need to do, but you know, I think she helped a lot. I could see a foreseeable future where like we're actually sleeping like normal human beings again and yeah. you know, maybe not fighting as much because of it. So hopefully that will happen. <laughs>